I'm here with Phil McKinney from Cable Labs. Uh, Phil, could you tell us a bit about the change of direction that Cable Labs took earlier this year? Yeah, on January 15th, Cable Labs announced that we we're calling with Cable Labs 2.0, which was really Cable Labs expanding its focus on uh, innovation. If you go back four years ago, Cable Labs spent roughly 100% of its uh, technology spend in near term research, zero to three years out. Um, Really the drive is we need to get further out. We need to be making longer term investments so that we have the technologies ready for the industry. So you know, September or January 15th, we announced Cable Labs 2.0, which really takes half of our spend, keeps it focused on the near term research, and half of our total funding, focusing on really those three to eight years out, the longer range research. And we believe that that's gonna create a really great, robust pipeline that the uh, industry globally can take advantage of. So what long-term projects are you kind of looking at right now? Is there anything specific, kind of specific areas you're looking at? Well, you can think of it really as the common areas you would think of cable apps being involved in, like access networks. You know, we just completed the work on DOCSIS 3.1. Um, at our winter conference, we revealed one of our innovation projects, which is full duplex DOCSIS. So full duplex giving you symmetrical. So it'll be 10 gig download speeds and 10 gig upload speeds, which is pretty revolutionary given the kind of the history of cable networks of having kind of this very high speed down, download, but not as fast upload speed. So bringing symmetrical to the cable industry um, is just one example of the project, but our work includes fiber, work in wireless, next generation media experiences like uh, virtual reality, uh, future work of security, and how do we do a better job of securing the network. So the innovation projects are, are pretty wide and pretty varied. So could you give us an idea of the roadmap towards um, symmetrical DOCSIS and you know, the steps after 3.1? Like how long will it take to get there and how much needs to be done in those areas? Yeah, well, we haven't released the, the timeline yet for, for full duplex. Uh, DOCSIS 3.1, we certified first modems in the first week of January. Uh, we have demonstrated full duplex. We have a number of vendors who are now engaged at Cable Labs, uh, contributing work that they had going on within their own research programs. So really the industry is coming together very, very nicely. Full duplex takes advantage of 3.1. So it's, it's not a whole new kind of an effort. It's something that actually will work on top of and work with 3.1. And so therefore, it's not going to take nearly as long as even 3.1 did. And keep in mind, 3.1 was half the time of any previous generation of DOCSIS. So we're seeing this great acceleration effect of our ability to take a concept and have that market impact on it be pretty quick. Okay. And if you had to say what the sort of key challenges facing the cable industry are today, what would come to mind? I don't know about challenges, I think of them really as opportunities. I think, you know, the reach of the cable infrastructure is, you know, second to none as far as total home served. Uh, the real challenge right now is, 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 you know, extending that reach, getting more homes passed that, that can get onto broadband services. Because broadband, you know, today is really almost a, it's a fundamental need for economic development in, in, in large parts of the world. You need that broadband you know, access and services. So how do you extend that reach? How do you make it available to even a, a growing and broader set of, of the population? And then really for us, we're focused on how do we create the, the cable infrastructure as a platform for others to innovate on top of. So we're doing a lot of work and reaching out to startup companies that are doing some really interesting things to bring those products and services on top of cable. And that I think is really creates ro a robust ecosystem and robust offerings in the marketplace. Okay, well thanks very much. Great, thank you. Great.